now we will construct a 5 volt regulated power supply from 230 volt AC this is basically a step down transformer which is connected to 230 volt AC primary of this transformer is connected to the 230 volt AC and the secondary of the transformer has got central tap now this is essentially a step down transformer which will step down the 230 volt AC to a certain lower level which we can measure with the help of multimeter let us see it is rated 12 volt 12012 it means 12 volt AC from here 0 from here again 12 volt AC from here so let us practically check how much output it actually gives for that we are taking knock to the AC volt side now we have to take a reading across one of the terminal and the ground so it shows almost 13 volt AC as the voltage is low I can touch it with naked hand though it is not recommended Similarly, we have got the second tap which will also give almost 13 volt AC reading. So this is a step down transformer which the transformer has stepped down the voltage from 230 volt to almost 13 volt AC. Now we will we'll try and convert this 13 volt AC into 13 volt DC maybe there will be a loss of some loss across the bridge and all so we will get almost 11 to 12 volt DC now for that we have constructed this bridge in the bridge as you can see this is a famous bridge as you can see the negative part of the diode is converted to the central tapping of the transformer and across the positive part we will be taking the reading and at the center taps from the left hand side and right hand side tap will be connected now we have only one tap connected so let us take the reading now as we all know after the bridge the current would have essentially transformed into a DC current so we will take the multimeter to the DC voltage side below 20 as we know it is in the range of 20 so let us check how much actually it is Showing us the output. It is showing almost 6 volt. That is, we are getting half of the voltage. This is because this is behaving as a half wave rectifier now, and we are getting half of the voltage at the output. That is 6 volt, almost 6 volt. Now the half of the cycle is a negative cycle is is neglected as the diode will not per permit the conduction in the reverse direction. So for that we are introducing the second tap when this right hand side tap will be in the positive half cycle the left hand side tap will be in the negative half cycle and when the left hand will be uh, left hand side tap will be in the positive half cycle the bridge will still be conducting thus both the positive cycles will be rectified from the upper side and from the lower side and we will get the supply that is almost twice the supply as that of earlier now we are getting almost 11 volt DC this is how the standard power supplies are being made now uh, due to the fluctuation in the AC voltages from the power supply provider there will be the fluctuation in the output voltage of the transformer which in turn uh, will give fluctuating output 
uh, at the uh, from 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 uh, from across the bridge if the if the voltage increases uh, beyond certain level like maybe beyond 15 volt level or something then that can easily damage our electronic equipments so for that we need to regulate this power supply now let's say if our requirement is a 5 volt then we will use uh, ic7805 for that is a very well known ic for that i have constructed this simple socket for the ic now this is the input supply for the ic i'll connect it in, in the bridge i'll connect it uh, directly to the bridge like this similarly the ground of the ic will be connected to the ground of the bridge Now we'll test whether we are receiving the voltages at the socket. Yes, we are receiving 11 volt, almost 11 volt. Now we'll introduce IC. This is 7805 IC. We'll just insert this IC into the socket. this way now we'll now we'll check the output at the IC this is essentially ground this is output side now see we are getting almost 5 volt out there there will be some difference in the output because at the input we don't have a complete 12 volt so we are getting a little difference in the output as well so this is how one can obtain the regulated supply of 5 volt from 230 volt AC